Hi guys. It's been um, three and a half weeks since I had my cancer surgery. I'm definitely healing, but I kind of had a little bit of a setback. Was feeling really good and I actually even crawled on my bed in my normal way and I was like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? And I was okay. But um, I gotta tell you, like, when they do surgery in that area of your body and you can't use any of your muscles and you're told, like, don't push, don't do anything, don't lift anything, it can make it difficult. And I actually um, hurt myself a little bit, not majorly, not enough to have to go to the doctors or the hospital or anything like that but um uh when you have surgery there in that area they tell you or they send you home with laxatives and miralax and all that right senna and uh it says on the bottles don't use for long term and don't use over seven days and i was using it for like two and a half three weeks so i um googled it <laughs> and it said that it can make your bowels stop working right because you get dependent on uh, external stimulant which is actually the senna is like a herbal thing but it ended up burning me so i stopped using it and then the miralax is a completely synthetic fiber it's a chemical and it what it does is when it gets into your colon it pulls water out of your body into your colon and that's what helps you go to the bathroom, use the bathroom. So I stopped using it for a couple days. And then I had an issue. And it was quite an ordeal. And now I'm back to using the Miralax again. So I guess I'm just going to have to deal with that issue that it causes after I'm healed up. Because otherwise I'm just going to hurt myself again. So I know this is not like the best topic, but you know, if someone else is going to have surgery in the abdominal area or the colon area, uh, something that you should probably know, right? So I've been spending most of my life in bed, which really is not fun. I'm not a... TV watching person. I don't play video games. I have no interesting books to read. And I don't have a lot of help. So, like, I can't really ask people, can you please give me some books? Or could you get me some groceries? Or can you help me do this or that? Because it's just the environment, right? Um... So anyway, I'm getting my groceries through this app called uh, Instacart, Instacart, and my daughter actually uh, had sent me a gift certificate for Instacart, and uh, now that I've used it, I'm really appreciating it, it works really well, and I've used it three times now to get the groceries that I need. Hopefully it will be beautiful outside tomorrow, and I'll be able to take you out looking around at nature. I was actually really anxious to go back to the Dakotas or, you know, start traveling again. Um, but I realized that I am in one of the most beautiful areas of the country and I'm going to show you some clips of the area that I'm actually in right now. So take a look at this, you guys.
was thinking to myself, even though I'm afraid to drive through mountains, big hills and mountains have always um, given me a lot of anxiety, so I avoid them whenever possible. But, oh my gosh, since I'm here in the summer when all of this beauty is near me, and I really, really would like to do some minimal hiking after I'm recovered. I would like to do some photography and some videos of these beautiful mountains and lakes and hiking trails around here. Uh, I'm thinking I might stay a little longer. I have to recover anyway. There's no way I can take the train. I mean, literally the vib vibration of the train would, I don't know what it would do to me, but it wouldn't be good. <laughs> Even at five or six weeks, I don't, I know that I could not take the train, not a 33 hour ride on the train with all that bumping and swaying and vibration. I could probably take the plane, but I'm so far away from the airport. I am literally an hour and a half away from the airport, if not two hours. And you have to get to the airport a couple hours before you check in. It's such an ordeal, right? So my thought was, if I stay out here and heal longer, um, in a few weeks I probably could drive around and do short walks. So my thought is, I maybe I will stay out here uh, for a little while longer during the summer, heal up take some gorgeous shots, be brave, drive through some mountain areas, right? Take some bear spray with me. Um, and just take this opportunity to not just heal before I do a big cross country trip, but to also just get some really beautiful photography done and some really beautiful video scenes, right? Look, let's look at some more of the places that are here around me that I have the opportunity to go to and film at. That beautiful and I'm here in that area I think it's kind of silly of me to give up the opportunity to visit a few of these places and do some of that beautiful photography and make some videos myself before I take off to North Dakota and do some more traveling thanks for coming uh, and thank you for all of your support and all of your nice comments. I really appreciate your friendship. Have a blessed day.